So, what are you trying to do? Enter the Guinness Book of Records for the most fags smoked in one sitting? Don't come running to me if your lungs end up in a bucket. Yeah, I see. Well, Becky. I don't even want to look at you. Can we not just talk about Roy Crawford's got this book and it's called Animals Without Backbones. You should be the front cover. Look, it's not as simple as that and you know it. I know you stood there and you trampled all over my feelings in your great big hobnail boots. She knows about Max and she will go running to the authorities and then that will be that. Game over. You took her side. No, I didn't. Not much. But I was trying to be cut mediator. You know, stuck in the middle trying to sort everything out. No, you're too weak to stand up to her. That is the truth, baby. So whatever Tracy wants, Tracy gets and beg her the consequences. Well, I'd never let anyone take my kid away from me. Ever. Poor Amy. She's not worth fighting for. Well, that's just it, isn't it? We can't afford to go fighting with Tracy Barlow. It's not worth it. So we just roll over then, do we? We let her do exactly what she wants. No. No flipping way. No one walks all over me, Steve. No one. Oh, so what are you going to do then, eh? Have another slanging match? Smack her in the gob? Yeah, I might actually, if that's what it takes, yeah. Oh, that'll solve all our problems, won't it? Just like it always does when you go off on one. Come on, then. Come on. Tell me, what is it between you two, anyways? What? I saw you. You were all over her. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You were stroking her. I was keeping her sweet. While she's playing you. Every sob story, every little tear that she manages to squeeze out, that's all part of her plan. To get you back. Ah, oh, look, you're being paranoid. You're being thick. I should just go, shouldn't I, really? Just let you both go on with it. Look, I can't talk to you when you're being like this. Oh, bog off, then. 